this is my journal. And I'm going to talk about my journal. First, let me paint a picture. It's my first year at university. I'm living in a shared dorm room on campus. I'm eight hours away from home. The window is open. It's chilly outside. Kanye West releases a new album called Jesus is King. I listen to it for the first time on my roommate's speaker. I remember in that moment feeling this was freedom. Every time I listen to this album, it brings me back to that moment and what I was feeling. Absolute freedom. It all just hit me. I was entirely responsible for myself. Life is going to throw you obstacles. Obstacles that may make you scared or uncomfortable. It may feel natural to try to avoid these uncomfortable feelings, but no amount of escapism will give you long-term peace. Sooner or later, you're going to have to deal with the reality. Enter fall semester of 2020. I was going through a breakup at the time. It was an on and off relationship that lasted five years and she was my first love. We went to high school together and then FSU together. And like many teenage boys, I don't think I handled the breakup as best I could. I don't think I allowed myself to feel too much, too many emotions. Um, after experiencing all of campus and all of life with her for so long, it felt like I was missing something, like a part of me was incomplete. Uh, so I looked to fill that hole in me whatever way I could. I had used the journal very sparingly up to this point. That was until my first dated entry September 19th, 2020. Yeah. My experiences in a different state of being would be the trigger that got this thing going. I needed to get out of my head and onto something that I felt more secure in. Words are limiting, but when you're feeling trapped inside your mind, expression provides a release. Pen to paper gave me room to breathe. After the acid trip, I was very lost in terms of my identity and direction in life. Getting COVID and being in the middle of a pandemic only made things worse. My main coping mechanism for all that I was going through was smoking weed and saying yes to other substances that would give me a temporary escape from my reality. What up? I feel very lost right now. How do you guys keep hope, keep positive? Like, how do you have motivation to like be alive and wake up every day and want to do things? Because I am forgetting. Marijuana quickly became a way for me to self-medicate. I started using it at the end of the day to decompress with friends, but eventually I was using it on my own to deal with uncomfortable emotions. It became my main coping mechanism for stress and anxiety, which only made my anxiety worse as I formed a reliance on the substance. 
Smoking weed became a part of my identity, and I didn't feel like myself without it. It took me months to admit to myself that I had an addiction. I went back home, told my mom everything, and started seeing a therapist who helped guide me on the slow path towards recovery. When I look at this journal, I think back to those painful times. I think, if I survive that, then I can survive anything. After two years at FSU and some helpful counseling, I decided I needed a better environment for me to thrive in. I transferred to UCF and moved into a house with my brother, Eric. On my own again, I faced bouts with anxiety and depression and feared that I would fall into my bad habits again. I had found some healthier habits while going sober in Miami. Basketball became my best friend. And to this day, it is one of the most therapeutic and enjoyable things that I can do for myself. Instead of smoking weed, I read books, watched videos, did art, played basketball, all while discussing what I was going through every step of the way in my journal. When I look at this journal, I think back to my battles fighting addiction and the trauma that I was trying to escape from. I think I have proved to myself that whatever I put my mind to, I'm able to accomplish. I asked myself recently, what does it mean to be an adult? I'm graduating from college in about a year and life is gonna start picking up real soon. In my transition to UCF, I've felt less like a college student and more like an adult going to college. Maybe being an adult means taking care of yourself trusting in and relying on the only person that you have control over. Maybe it means parenting yourself. Maybe it means drawing boundaries with others. Maybe it means being real with yourself. You are in control of your own destiny and at the same time, you are completely out of control. Maybe that definition changes with time and experience. As of right now, uh, there's been one idea, one term that has followed me around, um, and that term is balance. We are human, so it's easy for us to see things in black and white as good or bad, as right or wrong, but for the most part, the world we operate in does not function in binary. Instead, what I have found again and again is that we live and must make decisions on a spectrum of grays. Oftentimes, there is no correct answer or right way to do things. We have to decide that for ourselves. We operate in gray areas, not black and white doing our best with the information provided to us and trusting in our intuition. Being human isn't always easy. It really sucks sometimes. All you can do is give it your best. You're gonna make mistakes. Keep going, don't give up, take breaks, rest as needed, but keep going, you're doing great.